Okay, so you hear a lot of talk about the most powerful men in the hip hop world, like, you know, a Jay Z or a Leo Cohen, all these men who could supposedly, you know, make an artist just pop off from nothing. You hear about it all the time. People try to throw that on me, on Cole Bennett, on academics all the time, too. Everybody wants to know who's pulling the strings in this hip hop game. Well, there's one name that doesn't get mentioned too often, and that is the Cuff Mom. For those who don't know, there's a kid named Cameron, uh, Cameron Cuff, if you will. He runs a channel called Cuff Boys. He has over a million subscribers and he makes a lot of different types of content, but the content that performs the most and really what blew him up in the first place were these mom reacts videos where his mother takes a look at some of the videos popping off in the hip hop world and she gives her opinions. Now, what particular authority or expertise does she have? Well, that remains to be seen, but you know, she's his mom. And you know, really, who the hell is he? But she has carved out a niche for herself. She has made herself a powerful figure in hip hop. If you burst onto the scene and Mama Cuff gives you a good review, then that means that your career will almost certainly go into the nether regions of this universe. But really, what is she bringing to the table? That's what I wanted to figure out today in today's video. So please, smash the like, drop a comment. By all means, go subscribe to the Cuff Boys channel because it's important that you keep an eye on what exactly this woman is getting up to and let's get right into it. So the first video that caught my eye was this little number. She takes a look at the new Lil Skies video which just dropped and at this point right here, it seems that she might be having a uh, particular reaction to Lil Skies and his performance. And uh, I'm sorry, but I think at a certain point here, Cameron notices what's going on. But you know, okay, this is a, a good way to start. She seems like she has a very genuine interest in Lil Skies and his career, the music, she seems to really like it. I mean, it is an important factor that Cameron and Lil Skies are uh, close friends, and he was actually, uh, you know, a big factor in Lil Skies uh, getting popping on the internet in the first place. Okay, but no foul play here from what we can tell. Okay, okay, okay. Stop the camera right there. Uh, you notice right here that she does a little shoulder roll that is a little bit reminiscent of one Lil Uzi Vert. I like what she has going on here. You could tell that she really has the rhythm in her bones, that this is no joke to her, that she's a part of this culture. She is feeling this music. She's not just over here like some writer for the New York Times just over here trying to be all analytical, showing off her expertise. This woman is feeling the vibrations. This ain't that, that, this. Ooh, actually, you know, to be honest, I'm kind of liking the vocal style that she has going on here. She seems like she might actually have a future for herself as a hip hop performer. I like her her vocal performance. She kind of reminds me of a, a young Missy Elliott. Okay. Juice Four got a little crazy right there. <laughs> I mean, now he's talking about somebody's mom. Come on. That's a little crazy. Little Okay, well, it's clear that she's uh, playing into identity politics here. She takes a huge amount of offense to the fact that Juice World said something about banging a mom. But meanwhile, she has nothing to say about any of the other lyrical content that's going on here that is in any way offensive. Uh, I don't know how I feel about her playing favorites here. Uh, being a mother is good and everything, but at the same time, I mean, if he wants to use a mother as a, a lyrical prop, if you will, I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, well, it seems like we were kind of taking it easy on her when she was reacting to Lil Skies and Ski Mask. Let's see how she deals with a real gangster. Let's check out her reacting to Blueface. Jonathan Porter. Oh, Jonathan. Hey, age, Johnny. Age 21. 21. From born in Los Angeles, California. Oh. He's a crip, so that makes sense. A crip? Yeah. He's in a gang? Mm-hmm. <gasps> no! Why would he be in a gang? Yeah, let's see. Why would a kid who grows up in a dangerous neighborhood want to take part in an organization that will almost certainly provide him safety against the outside elements? Huh, lady? You're really starting to seem like you don't know what's going on in this world, and I would appreciate it if you'd be a little bit less judgmental. Are you speechless? I'm not going to knock it because he's, I, he's just not like, he's more theatrical, that's all. More like, not like true rapper. Theatrical. Listen, lady, 
Blueface belongs in theaters, but he ain't no actor. This is real deal LA gangbanging stuff out here. This is real deal shit. And I do not appreciate you talking down on him. I guess he's still really in a gang. He's still really crip. Right crip. now. Right now he is, yeah. But, I, I mean, if he's in a gang always, aren't you always part of that gang? Let me try to put this in terms that might make sense to you. Think about it like your book club. Like, once you join the book club, that's a big deal because you got to read all these books every week. You got to be part of these discussions, all of that. And then say you were to take all the information that you've gleaned from your book club and you were to leave and go to another book club and, like, leave that Barnes & Noble and drive to the other Barnes & Noble on the other side of town. Think about it like that. It's a gangbang thing where they don't want all their information, all their industry secrets to be shared with the other side. Well, that's like in the mob. If you're in the mob, like if you if you leave the mob, you can't really do. You can't really leave the mob because once you do, they, they want you in there for life and they get pissed. But I mean, God, I hope that doesn't happen to him. See, at the end of the day, even when this lady starts to say some stuff that I think might not be 100% correct, she comes in and she clinches it. She says the right thing. She wants to see the homies win. She wants Blueface to stay the hell out of jail. Free all the guys. Free all the moms. Ice Cube likes them? Yes. He does sound more rap, like old school stuff, but no, he I doesn't. mean, not, I mean, like, I don't know. It's just, he's I different. I think you even know what you're saying. Yes, I do know what I'm saying, damn it. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, one of the best parts about these videos is that uh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag or anything, but she is dating an older African-American guy. And sometimes you'll hear him laughing from the other room when she says particularly funny things like what just happened there. And then occasionally he cuts in clips of Stanley from the office laughing, which to me is perfect because that's kind of what I imagine the guy looking like in the other room, too. I don't think I've actually seen him. I just hear him laughing and I imagine Stanley and it's perfect, which I guess that poses the question, which member of the office is she and know the answer is not Meredith. <laughs> okay, well maybe after seeing that it would be nice to see her respond to somebody who's a little bit closer to her age. Let's see what she thought of Eminem's MGK diss. MGK diss um Okay, I had to look up what MGK was. Wow, so she really wants the smoke with MGK. This is interesting. So she's saying she had to Google him, huh? You might think that MGK is too big to know about this channel, but I wouldn't be surprised if he sees you around and he roughs you up, lady. Just fried his ass. It was a good diss. I'm saying in terms of listening to rap beef songs. So you rate a diss now? I can't, yeah, why I can't not? participate. That's, I'm not participating. It's not that, that serious. It's just, it's, it's stupid. Wow. So she's really going to call her kids stupid. I thought she was a good mom up until this point. Hip hop critic, not 100% sure, but I thought she was a good mom. I don't think you should be calling your kids stupid, especially when he's created this giant YouTube empire. I mean, show the kids some friggin' respect, man. Has 100 million views in a week on a video. <laughs> he responded in, in a song? Yeah. Or liter oh, so. He put his he put his platform out so there. The, the, his... You know, it's at about this point in the video that I'm kind of starting to question if she's really a student of the genre because she doesn't seem to really grasp the concept of a diss song, which is weird to me. It's sort of one of the fundamental elements of rap, to be totally honest. It's funny but so true. I'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you. Speaking about being 80 year old me than 20 year old you, I, I'd rather be my age than. 20 year old somebody else so you know who you are you know what you said <laughs> don't do it again holy shit she just shouted me out this came out all the way back in september and i actually didn't even know that she mentioned me i think what she's referencing was there was a video where i said something i said like oh she's like 80 years old which obviously is not true I would say she's probably like in her 40s. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to like misage you. That was not my intention at all. Uh, I actually think you're pretty cool. But yeah, I definitely didn't actually think you were 80. So I'm sorry, sorry about the confusion. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This guy Eminem is still off the chain. I mean, he is still, he's got it. I don't know how anybody would diss him about his talent or what he does. I mean, he is a natural. That MGK guy, I, I, I mean, I'm already salty about him. I don't even, I don't like him. <laughs> and I don't even know him. I shouldn't say that. I should give him a chance. You know, it's nice to see that she just really appreciates actual genuine skill. But I gotta insist that she stop taking MGK's name in vain. This isn't right. Okay, let's see what this lady's got to say about our favorite lyrical prodigy, Lil Pump. Lil Pump was the one that Saying Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. 
Yep. Over and over again. Yes, indeed, lady. He's the one saying Gucci gang, Gucci gang. You know who it is. Don't act like you don't know. You know who it is. So when he runs out of popular slangs, esket it, esket it, and things like that, now what's going to happen? Uh, lady, first off, it seems like you're having a hard time with the English language here. And second of all, I think I know what you're trying to say. I think you're trying to say that Lil Pump is just going to run out of like catchy catchphrases or, you know, things to write songs about. I'll have you know, you're wrong. You're all the way wrong. Lil Pump has a limitless fountain of creativity within that brain of his, and no amount of lean or zans are going to stop that flow. I don't know. You want to keep going and ignore oh. your notifications? Oh, Barbara Bush died. Oh. Who's that? That feeling when Barbara Bush dies in the middle of your reaction video to Lil Pump. Gumball. Um. What is gumball? Gumball music. Just gumball. explain it. It's like pop music. It's like... Trendy, pop, gumball, little kid music. Let's get it. Gumball, 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 gumball. I really, I don't really understand what she was going for with this part. <laughs> There's no brand. They just have custom jewelers do it for them or something. Oh, I thought there was a brand. No, I it's not a brand. I thought had a brand. I thought there was, like, no, he, a, it starts with a P or something. He went to um a random jeweler in Pennsylvania or something. Then they make it. Yeah. Okay, this stands out to me as a part in this video where she knows more about what's going on than him. In reality, it's not like jewelers are like creating watches out of thin air. They're working on existing Rolexes and the P word that she's referencing is probably a paddock. Uh, I don't know a lot about jewelry, I'm gonna be totally honest, but Cam, you're, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about on this one. And you are misleading your mother. Get it. Why didn't you, you could do, I, I always say that you could do one of these things. He has face tats. He has an image that makes it perfect. Wait a minute. So number one, you want your kid to become a SoundCloud rapper. You want your like 19 year old, 20 year old to like go and become a little pump clone. That's weird. Most parents don't want that. And uh, on top of that, I don't want to get on your bad side or anything like that, Cam, but uh, I don't really see you as a rapper. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I think you're probably better as a YouTuber. I don't think SoundCloud rapper is for you necessarily, but I mean, don't, I don't want to kill your dreams or anything. But with that, oh, that's a fake butt. <laughs> you think so? Yes. Okay, so number one, she's right. That butt definitely looks fake to me. Cam, your fake ass radar is off. Your mom knows more about this subject than you, which is a little weird, but let's continue. Oh my god. They're illegal? Oh my gosh. There are famous women right now that are potential danger from fatal, um, potentially fatal butt injections. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, you know, props to her for raising awareness about bad fucking butt implants. I don't really feel like this is a huge problem. It's not the kind of thing that's like tearing our nation apart or anything, but props to her for bringing it up. There are girls getting cement mix in their booty hole out there. <laughs> Got elephant ears over there, huh? And let's, take a, let's take a look at your ears. Mine are normal. Okay, so here we have another example of his mother uh, not only physically abusing him, but mocking his appearance and accusing him of having elephant ears. As a man who has big ears or has been made fun of at times during my life for having big ears, uh, I know how it feels, Cam. I know what it's like to be verbally abused by somebody you care about, and I just want to tell your mother, uh, it's not okay. Leave the kid alone. You're bullying him. It's fucked up. The world has changed. Okay, so here's the thing, is that Lil Pump's been popping for a couple years, and yeah, of course, nobody's career is guaranteed and anything could happen, but the thing is, is that all signs right now point to good. And yeah, of course, anybody's career could fall off at any given point, but what's important is that you know, he's made his money, he's got money in the bank, yeah, he's living this extravagant lifestyle, but he's spending a very small percentage of what he's bringing in. And sure, who knows what tomorrow will bring, but I mean, I don't think you should be out here counting Lil Pump out in advance, because you really don't know what's to come. And from my perspective, Lil Pump is a very talented guy, so lady, I don't know about this one. Okay, so all in all, I think she seems like a pretty nice lady. I'm not sure that she has any particular expertise in rap, but it's nice to see her uh, taking the content and at least trying uh, as a mom i don't know the bullying kind of got to me at a certain point i think you should just let the kid live but uh you know a lot of this was in jest uh, you seem like a great mom of course uh thank you very much to anybody who watched this smash a like down below drop a comment uh tell me about any other youtube channels that you think i should be responding to if there's anything out there you think would be good just let me know and of course you should go and uh, throw a subscribe on cam's account as well show him and his mother some love thanks to them i hope that they're uh, good sports about this and me uh, sort of taking a deep dive into the channel maybe we'll do it again sometime i don't know uh shout out to my editor philosophy follow me on instagram and twitter but drop a comment drop a 
like. This has been another episode of the Adam22 channel. We'll be back tomorrow. We do this every damn day. Peace.